crowd are counting down. Hundreds of thousands of people have gathered here to seal the New Year. And here it is. Wow. To believe it's already New Year's in London. Alright, so we're kicking back watching the... Right now, this is Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper, New Year's. Only because of the... Dick Clark New Year's is on hold, I guess you could say, because of the Channel 11 or whatever, Action 11 News or something like that. So, while they're doing that, I figured I'll talk a little bit, you know, about this year, what what's happened. Um, my wife has learned to crochet. <laughs> um, you know, this year, exercise-wise, for me, I've... I would love to say I've reached all my goals, but honestly, I haven't. You know, I've had a lot of setbacks this year. I got hit by a car. I had surgery. I've taken up some new exercise routines, you know. Like, I, I went from doing P90X and lifting weights to not being able to do that. So I uh, took up running. I've started riding more. I got a 12-speed bike. It was, it's a start anyways, you know, and I've done an 83 kilometer bike ride for um, the OSPCA, which I raised $150, $150 myself, I've now officially, I've, yeah, we, well, I was, yeah, we've done a, a 7K walk for a woman who died during the earthquake in Haiti. Um, I have, in total, this year, let me see, this week alone I've done 13 kilometers. Um, this year alone I've biked, uh, biked so much. 965 kilometers so far this month, this year. That's not including the the times when I've I forgot to mark it in. You know, this year alone, between biking, walking, and running, I've put in over a thousand kilometers. Um, and I've circled the world. Point zero three times. <laughs> I've burned four hundred four hundred and seventy two point eight two donuts. I've saved thirty one point eleven liter gallons of gas. You know, I've I think I've done pretty good this year. Next year, even more because today I'm sitting here wondering you know what I can do to up my goals and I've decided I'm not gonna make a New Year's resolution I'm going to set goals to, to and keep goals this year and my one goal well my goal I've got 25 goals that I've I wanna I want to reach this year now, if I get them all, you know, who knows? But at least I'm gonna try. And like my my goals consist of everything from something simple, you know. Um, I want to lose a pound a week. Uh, try something new, like food-wise or something. Um, I'd love to get an iPod Touch. Now, if I get one, I get one. If I don't, I don't. The one thing I will get, though, is a pair of new shoes, because I need them. <laughs> and so does my beautiful wife. She needs a new pair, too. Right, honey? Because she's going to start getting doing things, too. Once everything gets figured out with her health issues. You know, and that's one of my goals, is to, to support my wife with all of her issues that she's got going on. I want to run officially run a 5 and 10k marathon well not marathon um, 5 and 10k distance I want to compete in a, a half marathon or a full marathon I need to compete in a full marathon in order to 
do an Ironman because my goal is by 20, 20, 2015 is to compete in the Canadian Ironman, which is in uh, Penticton, B.C. And I've been looking and reading, and yeah, that's going to be a hell of a, hell of a thing. But, you know, event, one year I'd love to do Kona, but that's just, you know, way far away. That's But, you know, uh, I, I want to get a bike so I can ride across Canada. Um, get a bike donated or get one cheap that I can, you know, fix and get it done. What is this? Oh, is this the Spider-Man? Oh, they just turned the uh, Big Apple green. Yep. And with that, CNN keeps screwing up. But I want to get my driver's license. You know, I'm 31. I've never, ever had a driver's license that I can remember anyways. Uh, I want to talk to my doctor about getting off my meds. You know, I've been able to control my Tourette's quite a bit. So I'm, I'm trying. Um, I want to get my passport so I can go to the States and so I can... Uh, travel with the family when you know we get financially stable I want to get my firearm certificate so I can start loading up for the zombie apocalypse so that way I can protect my family <laughs> I actually didn't think it was funny either um, was I supposed to laugh? yeah, yeah I know I, I, my son tells me my jokes suck too <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know grow a garden and eat healthier like we, we've We've done some stuff. We, we bought a Topsy Turvy. They suck, by the way. <laughs> no, our tomato one worked. Our tomato one worked awesome. It was Butchered just... the strawberry pumpkin. Yeah, the strawberry... Yeah, so that was my fault. Um, but we did get two loads of strawberries. Yes, we did get awesome strawberries off it, though. You know, start training so I can do all these these things that I want to do. And most of, most importantly, I, want, I need to stop procrastinating because that's... Yeah. Yeah, I'm a procrastinator. Yes, very much so. Yeah, I need. I want to connect for, with more people because in 2013 I plan on doing. A, well, I, my goal is to do a bike, my bike trip across Canada. Now, originally I was going to do it for cancer, and you know, don't get me wrong. There's so many people that do it for cancer, and that's one of the things that was brought to my attention. You know, everybody and their dog does it for cancer. I should do it for something that, that means something to me. Not that, you know, I have had many people touched by cancer in our family, but 10 years ago, oh, but, well, we've been together eight, so nine, ten, about 10 years ago, I was homeless, addicted to drugs, you know, living wherever I could crash kind of thing. And, you know, there's a company that helped, an organization that helped me... So, like not sober up but they a gentleman had helped me when I went in and said yeah, you know I wanted to kill myself and he walked out and said so you want to kill yourself and I looked at him and said I don't know I do but I don't so he ended up helping me you know get my feet on the ground back on the ground and because of the organization he worked for I became a published author nothing fancy or famous or anything else you know it was a group of us we all sat down and collaborated and wrote a book of like poems and stuff like that and unfortunately mine got unfinished because I relapsed and fell back into my old ways but now you know 10 years later I'm sober I'm alive I'm not a doing drugs anymore I've, I'm not homeless like I was so I want to be able to you know, talk to this company and say, look, this is what I want to do. You know, you guys need funding. I want to do something. Let's work together. So that here's to crossing my fingers to hoping I can, you know, get that done. And I want to, you know, deal with a few of my personal legal and medical issues. You know, like I, I'm going to talk to my doctor in, well, 12 days about well, if my knee is buggered too bad beyond repair or not. I got to find out. Because, you know, I, I want to 
I want I got I want to do things. And so I don't know, but yeah, you know, those are my goals. I don't want to make resolutions because you know the biggest resolution is everybody says, "Oh, I want to lose weight. I want to do this. I want to do that." You know what? Honestly, 90 99% of resolutions within the first six six months are broken. So you know, my goal. I I got goals this time, not resolutions. Last year I made resolutions. I wanted to get my license. I didn't do it. I wanted to you know. Do a bunch of stuff. I didn't get. To, I didn't do it. So you know, this year it's all about. I, I. I'm gonna do it. That's simple as that. And my wife is gonna start reaching her goals too. She wants to lose some weight and get things going and knitting and <laughs> a little bit of everything, right, honey? Mm -hmm. So here's my wife knitting a or crocheting. Sorry, crocheting. Mm -hmm. A blanket for my daughter. And, you know, she's going to talk to her doctor about her health issues. And she's also spoke to her doctor about going for the gastric bypass, which she got the the re letter of, was it letter, well, not recommendation, but the, the letter to call to make the appointment. So she's going to be doing that in the new year. And they say it's you know a, a, a year-long process, so that's one of the reasons why I need to get my license, so we can do the trips back and forth for the um, the consultations and the counseling and the everything else. So we are gonna get that done. This is my you know 2012 is our year. What did you say earlier? What did I? That you said I copied 2012. Uh, I gotta take. Hang on. Uh, 2012 is the year to to make it your year. Make it your year. You know, do things for you. You know, a lot, and that's the thing. A lot of people that it's always about others, and you know, it's always it should be about you. Not about, you know, your friends or, you know, who you want to party with. It should be about you and doing things for you. For us, for me, it's doing things for my family so I can better my family. So that way we can, you know, do things together, I guess you could say. You know, I want to get my license so we can do more things. You know, it really sucks because where we live, it's a $50 cab ride or, you know, a... Uh, 20 minute walk there's no public transportation so and we love to do thing, a thing called geocaching and get it with the family so you know we'll see we gotta get a vehicle we gotta get I want to get a job I just but in order to get a job I need to get my medical issues worked out so but we'll get it done this is our year this is your year all right ring in 2012 have a good one